What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles with Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be rocking out with a team that features two of my favorite restricted mods used, Yvelta and Palkia. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Over 60% of my viewers, 60, that's a huge chunk. As a huge chunk of viewers are not subscribed to the channel. So if that's one of you, scroll down a little bit, click the big red subscribe button, and join the community. It really does go a long way. But like I said, today we're rocking out with a Yvelta and Palkia team. This team's looking pretty strong. It looks like we're going to grab ourselves a winning record today and just absolutely have a ball with this squad. But let's get started here in the top left corner, starting off with Yvelta. And I feel like Yvelta is definitely really really fun to use it's just so good in many different situations it has snarl oblivion wing foul play and sucker punch so there's first turn priority it has special attack drop it has foul play for big physical attackers like zassian then it has oblivion wing which is a stab move that also gives it hp recovery so you gotta love this pokemon and its moveset i just think its moveset is phenomenal that's why i love using it so much we got the dark aurora as its ability and then we're rocking out with the assault vest to make this pokemon even bulkier than what it is right next one is going to be our heavy hitter and our second restricted mod which is going to be palkia telepathy of ability so you know it can't get hit by eqs by our landers or any ally pokemon shot we got the life orb as our item and then we got protect hydro pump spatial run and earth power for our coverage move fairly normal move set for palkia that just works so well in ranked double battles middle left is going to be rotom heat i haven't used rotom heat in a while he's very definitely very fun and really really strong in dynamax form we got levitate so ground moves can't hit him safety goggles as our item and then we're rocking ally switch discharge for stab overheat for stab and nasty plot to set this pokemon up Right next to him is going to be Storm Drain Gastron. Storm Drain Gastron, I think, is a phenomenal Pokemon in the series, considering how uh, how big Kyogre is being used, used or how much Kyogre is being used in this meta. Like, I just think most teams rock out with Kyogre, so having Storm Drain Gastron on the team is really, really good for us. We got the Citrus Berry as an item, and then we're rocking out with Protect, Scald, Yawn, put Pokemon to sleep, and Recover, just to recover some HP and stay in the battle a little bit longer. Bottom left-hand corner is Landers. Can never go wrong with Landers. Can never go wrong with this Intimidate mod. We gave it the Lumberry as an item, then we're rocking out with a pretty good moveset of EQ, Swords Dance to set up, Rock Slide, and Fly. I feel like this Pokemon is wonderful in Dynamax form, so we'll probably be trying to Dynamax him or either Palkia in most of the battles. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Rollboom, another Pokemon that you cannot go wrong with on any single team. It's got Grassy Surge as its ability, Rose Incense to actually boost its grass damage, and then we got Protect, Grassy Glide for hard hitting stab damage, Lost Heart first turn priority in the Surge, then we got Fake Out for Flinches, and you turn just to pivot out and I'll get in some new Pokemon. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, you don't even have to say it. Not the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Yvelta Life Orb Palkia Series 12 team. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get rolling here in battle number one, going up against a Zassian and Kyogre team. Like I said in the beginning of the team preview, Kyogre is one of the most used Pokemon in this series, so Storm Drink Ashton is wonderful here. He has the Zassian, the Kyogre, the Landorus, Rollboom, Regilecki, and the Incineroar. I kind of want to, like, I have to bring Storm Drink Ashton, but I got to watch out for that, uh, that Rollboom, because, you know, Rollboom is definitely very, very scary. I got to bring a Rollboom of my own, because, you know, it counters up onto that Kyogre. But, um, who else should I bring here? Intimidate Landorus could be good. I'm thinking Palkia, Yvelta, alongside with Rillaboom and Storm Drain Gastron really worked well here. But I might not even bring that Storm Drain Gastron because he probably is going to just bring the Rillaboom and predict me going into that. So do I do it? Do I bring the Storm Drain Gastron? I don't think I do. I just, I'm just not feeling it. I'm just not feeling it. I don't know why. I'm just not feeling it. I'm going to go into Yvelta as lead alongside with Palkia. Or am I going with Landers? Landers could be good. Or I could go Rillaboom and Landers fake out. Maybe Swords Dance to get rolled from there. Sounds pretty nice in my head. Sounds really nice in my head. But nah, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go Yvelta and Palkia. I don't know why. I just I'm just feeling good with that combo. I'm just feeling really good with that combo. I just feel like he's gonna lead a fake out mom with either Roboom or Incinori. It's too intimidated, so I feel like special attackers have to come in here. Special attackers have to come out and about. We cannot be dealing with these physical attackers. Molly has two intimidate mods, so I'm, I'm not dealing with it. Jeans is not dealing with it right now. But yo, before we even start battle number one, let me know for question of the day. What is your favorite item to use in competitive battles? For me, I actually really like the Lumberry. I don't know why. I like the Lumberry. I feel like every time I'm using the Lumberry, my landers has it on now. I just love like Pokemon burning me or something. And then me just being like, nah, son, we pop into this berry. We getting after it. I also like the Salt Vest as well. I think the Salt Vest is a cool item. But definitely let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. He's going to go Regilecki alongside with our Rillaboom, so he can fake out one of my Pokemon. I might end up just Dynamaxing here and rolling out. I really do like that turn. But, uh, what should we go into here? I could definitely just go straight into an Oblivion Wing, which I really like. Oblivion Wing into maybe, like, a Max Quake. 
I do dig that. I do dig it. Straight into the Max Quake. We can get rolling with that special defense boost. I'm with it all day. Let's run it up. Let's run it up. I love it. I love it. So he does have that Roll Boom. Roll Boom is definitely scary. Roll Boom is just such a beast. Just such a beast. And this is one of the reasons why I didn't bring Storm Ring Ash on. But do we think that he did bring the Kyogre? Because that could be so tough if we didn't bring him. But we still have Roll Boom in the back end, which Roll Boom is just an absolute menace up against Kyogre. Unless he's going to choose the Dynamax. I feel like that's one of like the only ways out for Kyogre up against Roll Boom. It's just to Dynamax it. Soak up the first shot and get rolling from there. Even though it does a huge chunk of damage. Because, you know, it has the Surge. It has the Grass or, or the Rose Incense. And then it has the Stab damage on top of it. He's going to Fake Out Palkia, which is just wonderful. So we dip a Fake Out turn. And Volt Switch is going to pivot through. So I'm cool with that. He's going to deal some damage onto me. We're going to be able to soak up. And what Pokemon is not going to be able to eat up this ground move? Does he have any Flying Pokemon? He's going to go into Incineroar. I feel like Incineroar might be. Whom are you going to go after? Who are you going after, kind sir? But the best part about this is... He did damage to me, but we have Oblivion Wing rocket in here. He's going to go in this Zacian. Mwah. We love to see it. We love for him to go in this Zacian here. Zacian's going to poke out here. We are going to hit this thing pretty hard. More importantly, we are going to get some HP back with our Oblivion Wing, which is just dandy. Look at this. I think we didn't go for a Dragon Moon. Look at that damage. Ooh! Ooh! Your Velta coming in hot. Coming in real hot. Taking out Robum, and look at that, yo. Back up to pretty much full HP. We actually are going to go back up to full HP with that Grass Terrain. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Max Quake's gonna fly through here. We get ripping. Uh, eat, send it this way. Boop. Get off some big damage. Zassian, get on out my face. Get him out of here, yo. That's huge turns for us. Huge, huge turns for us. You'd love to see it. So he has Rillaboom and one other Pokemon left. Yo, what a start for Jeans here. What a start for Jeans. One turn, two KOs. Get them all out of here. You'd love to see it. you love to see it. Dude, this is why I love you, Velta. Look at us soaking up that Volt Switch and then just dump it on Roboom. And more importantly, getting my HP all the way back up. He's going to go on Regilac here. I ain't too worried about you, Reggie. I have my Landers in the back end. Landers counters you all day. And Kyogre's going to be his last one. So if we brought Storm Drink Ash on, it would have been over. It would have been over. But I'm cool with this. I'm cool with just going into, like, Snarls. Dropping Special Attack. Kind of just going into that way. And maybe just boosting Special Defense here, right? Snarl. Yes, sir. And then just running the, the Quakes. Special Defense Boost can really help us out here. I think he does Dynamax to Kyogre here. I'd, I'd be fine with. Like like I said, we're just going to get some Special Attack Drops alongside a Special Defense Boost as well. But if he Dynamax to Vegelaki, I'm cool with that too. I'm cool with that too because we are coming in hot with Max Quake. Here comes the Dynamax. Who's he going with? He's going to end up going in with Kyogre like I thought. And I can definitely see him protecting Regilecki, knowing that I'm going to go into the Quake. Because it's kind of obvious that I'm going to go into the Quake. Because Kyogre is, is a big threat, but if we could change to like a 4v1 situation, we should really be thriving here. But as long as my Yvelta can get off... Oh, he's going to go. He's not going to protect anything. That's fine. Yvelta soaks that up with this whole fest. All day long. All day long. And like I said, as long as my Yvelta can get off this Snarl, we're going to be thriving here. Look how much damage that Snarl did to that Regilecki. That's GG's. That is GG's. He's probably going to take out my Yvelta, which is kind of tough, because then we don't get that... Uh, we don't get that sweep, but my Yvelta might be able to eat. He's plus two on special defense. Uh, he has that assault vest. Kyogre's minus one on special attack. Yo, I'm hoping my Yvelta can eat it up just so we can get a clean sweep with two amazing restricted mods. Two of my favorite restricted mods, like I mentioned in the beginning. But yo, Rezaleki, get on out my game. Get on out of here. Yo, Yvelta's soaking up. He's going to go for the Hailstorm. Yvelta, can you eat that? Eat that up, yo. Oh, he's going after Palkia. That's totally fine. Ouch. Ouch. Look at that eat, dude. Look at that. We ate that up like it was nothing. Like it was nothing. I know both of my Pokemon out speed. We have Roll Room in the back, but I really, really want this. Uh, I really want this sweep. So, what should I do here? I think I might just go into another Max Quake and just start Oblivion with it. That's probably going to be my play. If I'm looking for the sweep. He might cancel here. If I had to guess, he is going to cancel here. But if he's looking just to pick up a KO on me, I'm just going to Oblivion Wing here. Just to get some HP back, and I'm just going to boost our special defense. Let's see. Cancel the battle. Give me my sweep, dude. He does not cancel. Blizzard Wings can come out here. We just want a little bit of HP back, which is going to be wonderful. How much are we going to get? 89 to 132. That's solid. That's solid. Nice little about 30, 33. Or is that 43? Something along those lines. But there we go. Get off some another chip damage there. But more importantly, just get that special defense boost. Because again, I do not want this guy killing any of my Pokemon. Not one of them. We do not want it. Not one of them. Let's see what he goes into here. He goes to a max lightning. Yo, eat this up, you Belta. All day, baby. Oh my lord, the tastiest of snacks. The tastiest of snacks. So I could either go into a Snarl here to drop his special attack. Or I could just go into Oblivion Wing and get more HP back. What do I do? What's the plan here? 
What is the plan? I, th I said we just Oblivion Wing. We're trying to chip up some damage. I, I feel like he's not going to be able to do enough damage to kill us. We are just thriving on that special defense board. I'm telling you, yo, your belt is so good. So bulky. Oblivion Wing going to come out here, and we're just going to drop a nice, lovely special run. Look to get a crit because, you know, it does have a higher chance of critting. He's doing absolutely no damage. Just cancel the battle, dude. He really wants to get a KO on me. Maybe he watches my videos. Maybe he's like, yo, I'm version jeans. I got to get at least a KO on him. But nah, yo, we, we're not letting it happen. If he gets a crit, I'm going to cry. They'll probably survive both these shots unless I get a crit. I'm hoping he just cancels. He'll just cancel the battle. Give Jeans his clean sweep for battle number one. He does not cancel. Oblivion Wing's going to fly out here. Give me my HP. That's all we want. 83. Ringing it up to 127. Beautiful. Spatial Renner, give me that crit. Take him out. Oh my god. Free Focus Ashes. This thing's going to go down to Buffets, but do not KO one of my Pokemon. He goes for the guys are here. We should be able to eat this, right? All day. Tastiest snack you ever had. Yeah, oh my god, dude. The Assault Vest, the plus three special defense, the minus one special attack. All piling up for you, Belta, just to just to eat up every shot. Oh, he's not going to go down to Buffets anymore. It is raining now. He switched the weather. He has switched the weather. That's going to be GG's. We're going to take him out with a nice little sucker punch. Just because I want to. <laughs> and then Spatial Run's going to come across. But GG's, yo. Clean sweep for battle number one. You'd love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. We could have just went into a normal move because we know we outspeed him. But sucker punch just looks cool. I think Sucker Punch looks sick. He does like a little like side turn. Comes across with the right hook. Such a cool move. Such a cool move. This guy really thinking about his turn. This guy's probably sitting here like, hmm, what can I do to win this battle? What can I do to win this battle? Dude, you're sitting on one HP. <laughs> He's legit on one HP with a Kyogre. Taking extra, extra long. You're not winning, dude. First of all, all my Pokemon, Pokemon outspeed you. I still have real boom in the back end. Our defense is bulked up. You need like five turns. There it is. He cancels the battle. We start off 1-0. What a start for today's video by starting off with a clean sweep. We're going up against, who would have guessed it, another Kyogre and Zassian team with Urshifu in DD for that Psychic Surge, and then he has Wimpscott for Speed Control alongside with Regilecki. Okay, how should we go into this one? How should we play it? I feel like Rillaboom and Gashfound could both come in here and do wonders. I really do like that. I'm going to lead actually the Rillaboom alongside with the Yvelta. I really do like that combo. And then go Gashadon alongside with Palki in the back end. I just think that's good. I just think it's solid, right? Solid. That's it's good. I, I'm, I'm with it. I do like Landorus, though. I do really like Landorus. So do I swap Robium for maybe Lando here? It'll be good. Lando just does work all around. Lando is phenomenal. But we're going to lock this in. We're going to lock it down. I just feel like Robium and Gastron are really, really good in a lot of these situations. So we got to bring him in here. We got to bring him in here. Not to bring him in. And then you can't just not bring Palkia or Yvelta. They're both, they're both amazing. They're both super, super strong. The first battle worked out so well for us. Legit just got off to a beautiful start with that Max Quake into the Zassian when he swapped him out for the Red Shalecki. And then we got all of our HP back with that big old Oblivion Wing and took out the Robin at the same time. So it was just a perfect first turn for us. And we just uh, we rode the wave on top of that one and rode it to victory. But hopefully we can just keep the streak rolling, go back to back here and guarantee ourselves a perfect, or not perfect record, a winning record for today's video. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how, we, how this one works out. Let's get it. Let's get it. Dude, I've been loving playing uh, Series 12. Series 12 has definitely been a lot of fun. I definitely, uh, I'm ready for Gen 9, though. I'm just ready for Gen 9. Get some new Pokemon in here. I feel like we're just going to be grinding that game like crazy. So, hopefully you guys are excited for that when it comes out. But we still have, like, about a year. Less than a year left to go. But it's going to be definitely worth the wait. He's going to swap in the Kai over here. Um, we have Robin ready to pose a threat. I don't even think I fake out. I think I just go straight into a Grass Glide. He could actually protect. Do we think do we think he protects Kyogre? And do we make a hard read and just take out a uh, Wimscott? I do like it. I do like it. I'm I'm with this. I'm with the hard read here. I'm with the hard read of the fake out into Oblivion Wing. Right? Show me that Kyogre protects or something along those lines. Or swaps. Like just give me something here. Just like he's got it, right? Knowing that my roll room's out on the field. There's no way he just like stays in this battle. He Dynamaxes. Son of a biscuit. Son of a biscuit. We should be able to get rid of this. Uh, We should be able to get rid of this one. Just got here. Let's see what he goes into from here. Um, if he's rocking with geysers, I could just swap into Gashadon. But I think he's going to be rocking with uh, you know, hailstorms into my room. Right, I think he's gonna be rocking with hailstorms in my room. Maybe you're about to actually outspeed me as well. Big guy's gonna come out here. I still like this turn. I really do like this turn. We're gonna flinch, and we are gonna be able to take out Wimscott no problem, and get rid of Tailwind if he wants. So, Wimscott comes through here. We're gonna say later, Wimscott, get on out my game. So we get rid of you, 
That's lovely. We love to see it. And what is she going for? If I had to guess, he's going to go for a hailstorm, right? We get a crit, but it, it was taking him out. Really. No problem. We had no problems with that. He's going for a hailstorm. He does go for the hailstorm. Can we eat this? Go into your belt, please. No way. Yeah, he goes in the roll boom. Eats up. Yeah, no shot. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bum. What do I do from here? What do I do from here? Can't believe you didn't protect her anything, but Dynamax was a good call. Dynamax was a great call. I feel like Dynamax is like the only way Kyrie can kind of counter roll boom. Because it probably would have been able to eat up the grass god and kind of go from there. But I'm with that turn all day because we still have a nice little speed control. Uh, I could go straight into Palkia, which I think is going to be the call here. He's going to bring out Zashi. That's a, that's a real problem. I'm going to bring in Palkia because I can Dynamax him here, but I do think he's going to bring out Zashi. And if he does, I'm going to be upset because I would have loved that Gashon out there. Let's see. Let's see what this guy's going to do here. He's going to throw out Gumpy Zacian. Urshfu. Okay, I'm, I'm totally cool with Urshfu. So Urshfu flies out here. I'm with that all day. We're going to bring out Palkia. And now we're just going to Dynamax him. Straight up onto the Dynamax. And do we Worm win? What's our play here? I really want to Quake. And I am going to Quake. Just for that special defense boost, it's going to work wonders for us. Did I hit Quake or did I hit Earth Power? I gotta go back and do it again. We're gonna, we're gonna hit Quake, and I know we outspeed, so I can just go straight into a nice little snarl here. Just to take off Sash, just in case Urshfu is rocking with it, and then we can uh, get that special attack drop, which is just beautiful. So taking out Wimscott was huge for us. It was definitely big for us, but we tried making a hard read in the beginning with the Kyogre, and this guy didn't budge. He went straight for the Dynamax and kind of put us in a tough situation. But I do like where we're sitting. We have a, we have a combo out again. We have that we have that Palkia, you belt the power combo out here. It's not really like a combo. They don't really have any synergy together, but they just work so well with a special defense boost alongside with the Snarls. It's just lovely. It's gonna actually help us uh, just start up, start to soak up some shots. But we'll see what he wants to do. If he drops a Geyser, I, uh, this turn I am gonna swap my Yvelta for Gashon and try to get off a Storm Drain turn, which could be lovely. It could be really, really good for us because if we can get that plus one special uh, special attack, we'd be sitting in such a good spot. He goes for a Wicked Blow into me. It's easy eats all day, and we should be able to take him out. He gets a guaranteed crit. And Snarl's gonna poke here. So Snarl pokes, yeah, eat, run it up, and we're hoping this Max Quake can just uh, get rid of this thing. We're hoping this Max Quake can legit just get after his Pokemon, because if not, we're gonna take some big damage. Hellstorm's gonna fly through here. That's going after you, Balthor, right? Let's go after Palky, okay? I'm with that all day. I'm with that all day. That's easy eats. Easy eats, baby. Easy eats. Max Quake's gonna fly here. Send it that way, yeah, eat. And built KO. Beautiful. Okay, we get rid of that Pokemon. I wonder who he's gonna go into from here. It's gotta, it's gotta be, it's got to be, it's got to be, what's it called? It's gotta be Zacian at this point. It's gotta be Zacian, right? It's got to be Zacian. So Dynamax turns for him mark over, right? Are they? No, he sells one more. He sells one more. And I might have to just max guard Palkia and just go into like maybe a foul play if he does bring out Zacian. So we'll see. We shall see what he wants to rock into. There it is. There's this guy right here. Ooh. Trying to think. See, Landorus could have been wonderful. There's two Pokemon left. These are our last two. Uh, I got a guard here. And I got a foul play, right? I got a foul play straight across. Foul play is just the best turn ever. Even though it's not very effective, it can still chunk up some damage here. It still chunks up a lot of damage. So I really do like it. I really do like it. Guard comes out here. Come on, yo. Zassi can go right into him. Behemoth Blade, right into my Palkia. Great read by us. Yvelta's going to go next. And a Foul Play should chip up more than half, right? Again, it's not very effective, but look at it. Look at that! It's lovely. We'd love to see that. Max Gash is going to fly through here. That's fine. That is fine. I could swap the Palkia. He goes into my Yvelta. Yvelta soaks up all day. He sets the rain. Um, hmm. That's my play here. I mean, I just think if Palkia goes down here, we're fine with it. Right, if Palkia goes down here, I think we're I think we're fine with it. We have to leave him in here just to soak up shot, and then we get out my uh, Storm Drake Gash time. Who can just yawn and kind of just start pestering around? I'm with that turn all day. But we'll go here. Uh, oh, I have one more turn. I do have one more turn, which is wonderful. Should double down into you. I'm just trying to think how we should play this one. I'm gonna foul play. I'm gonna foul play again. I'm gonna double down into this Zacian. I do think he goes for the Behemoth Blade, takes me out, right? He protects. Wow. Big ol' protect. Big ol' protect comes out here. Foul play's gonna get blocked. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ice Beam's gonna fly. Ice Beam coming out. Here. I should be able to soak that up. Don't give me freeze. Do not freeze me. Look at that. All day. 
Easy eats, baby. No freezes allowed. Well, no freeze allowed. We do get off a nice max quake here. Nice max quake for another special defense boost. That's some good damage. That's some good damage. That is some good damage. I'll take it all day. Surprised you didn't just go into a behemoth blade. But I'm with that turn all day. We get that special defense boost. I could start dropping oblivion wings. Uh, but I think we just get rid of Zassian in this turn, right? We double down into him. Just say get rid of him and then have my gas shot in the back end. Start to clean some stuff up. We can yawn and we can protect, recover, recover, recover. And just go from there, right? Because if I get rid of Zassian, I know my Yvelta outspeeds. Actually, does he? Did he just outspeed that turn? Yeah, he did. He did. He does outspeed. Then I could just like go into straight like Oblivion Wings and all that. Just constantly get HP back. But yeah, we got to take out Zassian here. Zassian has got to go. My dude has got to go. He's got to go. He's got to go. He's got to go. Let's get rid of him here. Play rough can come through here. Oh, he goes for this. What a play. What a play. Smart little cookie. Will Kyogre be able to take out my Palkia? I don't know if he will. Let's see. Ice Beam's going to come through here. Do not KO me. That shouldn't, right? Eat it up. All day. Okay, cool, Palkia. Cool. Earth Power comes through. Beautiful. We get rid of you. Okay. Now we're sitting in this situation where I'm just going to protect Palkia and I'm just going to yawn onto the Kyogre at this point, right? Cool, cool, cool. So that works out perfectly. Oh, we're down to 2 HP. We are down to 2 HP. Uh, yeah, we got to yawn onto this guy. Protect Palkia. Yawn up. Got to do it. You got to do something along those lines. He is minus one. I really do like where we're sitting. I really, really like where we're sitting. I really do like where we're sitting. Hmm. But this thing has to go to sleep. We have to put this thing to sleep at this moment. At this moment. So protect Palkia. And we'll just go straight into Yawn. He's got to go to sleep. He's got to go to sleep. So good thing we brought this Gashon in the back end. I want to swap him out earlier. But there he goes. He cancels the battle from there. 2 0. Oh. Grab yourselves a winning record. Let's go grab ourselves a perfect record. We're sitting at 2-0, grab ourselves back-to-back -back wins. Let's make it 3-0 with back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back wins. We're hopping into our third battle, going up against a Zacian and Palkia team. So we got a little Palkia Mirror matchup. He also has Incineroar, Amoongus, who is really good in this series. I really do like him in this series. And then he has Thunderous, alongside with Ditto. Ditto is definitely a cool Pokemon. And could definitely be coming in the back end, because, you know, Ditto's great. Ditto is seriously good all around. But how should we go into this one? How should we play? I kind of want to use Rotom Wash here. Or not Rotom Wash, Rotom Heat. I kind of just want to use him. You know, we haven't used him yet. We're, we're up 2-0. We're going to use him here. We're going to use him here. You guys know I like to use him in situations like this. But we're going to lead Yvelta. Yvelta is just too good not to use. Uh, Yvelta and Landorus could come in here. Or we can go in the Robin, But I really don't like Robin up against these Pokemon. So I'm not even going to bring him. I'm going to lead Landorus. I'm going to bring Palkia. And I'm going to bring Rotom Heat, baby. Lock him in. Lock him down. Let's do this, guys. Let's do it. You guys know, whenever I'm up 2-0 and, and guaranteed ourselves a winning record, I like to use all the Pokemon in the third and final battle. So Pokemon that I haven't used in the video yet, I like to throw them in here, even though maybe they might not be the best. But Rotom actually kind of works out pretty good here. I do like him here, so definitely better than Robin. Robin, like, what's he have? Grassy Guide with no water Pokemon, really? Like, he has Palkia, but Palkia's part Dragon, so it's not super effective. So, I'll take this all day. We'll take it to the bank, baby. I don't really think I need Storm Drink Ashton in this situation. But I think we should be fine. He's going to go into Palkia and Thunderous. Okay. Oh, is that Defiant? Oh, hold up. Oh, don't, don't do it. Don't you do it. Do not be Defiant. Do not be Defiant. That's, that's Defiant, isn't it? Ah, jeans, jeans, jeans. Jeans, jeans, jeans. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Okay. Okay. He didn't do it. He's Prankster. He Prankster. Okay, cool. Cool, he's prankster. We we love to see it. We'd love to see that he's prankster. I'm just gonna start off with a nice big snarl. Get that rolling here. And I don't mind dropping a Ooh, I could hard swap here. Or I outspeed. I outspeed, we can not just water move. What's he gonna do? Go for maybe an eerie impulse? He might Dynamax and go for a straight water move, right? Yeah. I should actually I don't know if I do Palkia I should check my Palkia speed I think Landers outspeeds Palkia so if I can fly and dodge one Dynamax turn we sitting beautiful we could be sitting lovely here we be sitting real good oh he's gonna Dynamax here uh I think after this point we could just bring out our own Palkia just let's just see how this one plays out here he's gonna go for oh he does outspeed me oh god things cooking things cooking and he's gonna take on my Landers no problem Landers gets absolutely dumped on done for done for that's a quick palkia that's a quick palkia real quick palkia ouch dude i really want to fly and dodge that turn he is an orb just like ours and we're gonna get off a nice lovely strong strong's gonna drop here not bad damage onto that uh 
What's that thunder? So I wonder what he's going for. Maybe a wild charge? Thunderbolt? Something along those lines. He's going for a hitting move. Just for Thunderbolt. So good thing he is special attacking. We have our assault vest. He's minus one. That's lovely. That's a lovely turn. Okay, so from here we could go in. We gotta go in the packet, right? Palkia's gotta be our Dynamax Mom. We have to roll out. We have to get cooking with him. And in this case, we're just gonna drop another snarl. And I think we're just gonna play it from there. Right? We gotta play it from there. Snarl, built, and then Wormwind. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Gotta replay. I was gonna guard that turn. I was going to guard that turn. Just for the sheer fact that is we could have uh, blocked his Spatial Ren or his Max uh, Wormwind and then get off another Snarl and then allow us to like, even soak up the next one even more and then roll off from there. But we should be able to soak up this one no problem because he's minus one, so. I'll take it all day. Plus, we're gonna have how much HP? 378. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Let's see what this dude's gonna do here. Eerie Impulse is <laughs> Ah! Hate this game. He's gonna geyser onto your belts. You might be about to learn. <whistles> ah, dang! So now it's gonna poke here. Even more damage, but we do not like where we sit. Not one bit. Not one bit. Unless Palkia can get like crit here. This would be this would be dandy if we can get crit here. Hop into this. I uh, cool. And sucker punch, take that thing out. Pen sucker punch, take that thing out. Great question. Great, great question. Hmm. I'm gonna go for it. Come on, Sucker Punch, yo. Get off the damage. We need that damage. And then we'll Geyser? Yeah, we might as well Geyser. Just finish off this thing. Ah, dang. Come on, Yvelta. Yvelta. Give it to me. Do not Eerie Impulse me again. Do not rub it in my face with that. With that double Eerie Impulse stuff. Not a fan of that. Because we know he has Zacian in the back end. And Zacian is terrifying. That thing is terrifying. You know how to like that. Sucker Punch comes through KO. Let's go. Let's go. Yavelta. Yavelta coming up big. It's a big hit for us. It's a big, 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 big hit for us. Can Palka go next? You're, you stink. You are the worst person I've ever met. Heat area impulse. Even though I should have saw it coming. Guys, it comes through here. We get rid of you. Right? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. We get rid of you. Uh, who's he gonna bring out? Zassian, right? Zassian's gonna ask me pretty much everything. Do, 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 do. do we still sucker punch? Yeah, Zassian and who else? Ah, this game, this game, this game. And uh, we don't like that. We don't like that one bit. Not one bit. Okay. So I wonder who Zassian gonna go after. The real, the real thing is here. We have to go for a one win. We have to go for this Oblivion Wing into here just in case he doesn't want to go for a... We're going to double down into Mooga slot. Just in case he wants to go after my uh, Palkia, we can get off some HP. And I think he might just Rage Powder here, right? Yeah, Rage Powder. Please go after Palkia. Do not take out my Yveltal. Do not take out my Yveltal. You take it out my Yveltal, you son of a biscuit. How do you Behemoth wait into you? With a Dynamax Pokemon staring you right in the face. Son of a biscuit. Okay. Dang, that could have been huge if he would have just went after Palkia there. Could have been huge, but he knows. He knows that he's like sitting there. He's like, we got this thing minus four. But maybe I can hit some crits with Spatial Ray. That could be really good for us. Wormwind's going to poke here. Do pretty much nothing. Actually, that did a lot more than I thought it would. But more importantly, we're going to get that attack drop onto that, uh, onto that Zacian. And I do have Overheat ready to roll. I do have Overheat ready to roll. How much damage is Overheat really going to do? How many turns left in the lane? How many turns is left in this rain? How many turns left in this rain? One, maybe? One. Okay. I wish I could protect, but I have to go into this overheat here. We might rage powder again. So, you know, we're gonna we're gonna hope we get a crit here with all uh, with this uh spatial rend. Rage powder can come out here. Yo, give me a crit. Give me a lovely crit. Has a high chance of critting. He goes for Behemoth Blade. Palkia, eat this up? He's going after Palkia. There's no way he goes after Rotom here, right? No, he does go after Rotom. Easy eats, baby. All day. All day, Rotom. All day, baby. Rotom's bulked up. Give me that crit. Give me that crit all day. All day. Give me that crit. Give it to me. Give it to me. We got the crit. We got... Yo, we got the crit. Let's go. Yo, let's go. The big old crit from Palkia. Yo, and then we got this overheat cooking on this other side here. 
Um, overheats flying. Rain is on efforts. How much damage are we really gonna do right here? Not too bad. We can drop another overheat or I could nasty bot here. Wow, this one's gonna be kinda close. It's gonna be kinda close. The nasty bot here? No, but there's no way we nasty bot. No, we got the crit. We got the crit. We gotta overheat again. We gotta go for the surf power. Run it up. Run it up. Let's go. Let's go, dude. I'm still scared, yo. This battle could definitely still go either way. Overheat might. I don't know if it's gonna be able to kill. Two of them should. But one, I don't know, because we're minus two now. Play rough comes through. We're dead, aren't we? Overheat. Let's go. Overheat. Let's go. Let's go, overheat. Come on, Rotom. I brought you in for a reason. Give it to me. Give it to me, baby. Oh my god, is one more gonna KO? It's gonna be cutting so close. It's gonna be cutting so close. Alright, Rotom. Your time to shine, baby. Your time to shine. I should have plotted it, dude. I should have plotted it. He goes for a sacred sword. It should be easy eats, baby. Rotom, your time to shine, baby. Over eat. Connects. Win it for us. Perfect record. Let's go. Let's go. Palkia clutching it up with that spatial rank crit. That was huge. And then Rotom coming in that back end and just taking out that Zacian. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, a perfect record for today's video. And I feel like I haven't got a perfect record in a little bit. So that, that, that one felt good. That one definitely felt good. Palkia was definitely clutching up every single battle. I think we Dynamax him in all three battles, did we? I think we did. I think we did Dynamax him in all three battles. Yavelta obviously was amazing as well with the Snarls, the Oblivion Wings, the Foul Play, Sucker Punches. We get, you got to see a bunch of all of that. Even in the last battle, Sucker Punch was perfect. Taking out that Palkia, putting us in a good position to bring out other Pokemon and win us the battle. But you guys know that crit was so clutch. We needed it so bad and we got it when we needed it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.